Hello? Hello, hello, hello? I think it's back. It's definitely dying a little bit, though. I'm pretty sure it was just Twitch, because I was still connected to the chat and everything, so we're all good. Basically, what I'm trying to say, the point that I was getting at is, um... I don't think Tarkov's gonna die. I, I think the only thing that's gonna tar kill Tarkov is the game company itself, as with most other games. Um, I think that the player base will dwindle. I don't think that Tarkov will ever reach a higher point than it is right now. Um, I think that Tarkov, like, the release will be a big boost. The The release might be, I, I think the release will be the biggest that Tarkov will ever be. I think that it's obvious with the way that they're monetizing the game, it's obvious with the kind of care and disrespect they've shown, or lack of care, um, is they do not plan to support the game for that longer in the future. They, they want the money, they want it now, and they want to kind of wrap up the project, if that makes sense. That's what it feels like, that's what it seems. I don't think they're going to like take the money and run, but they want a way out. You know what I mean? They want to be done. Um, that's what it feels like, and I don't... Um, I, I don't see any alternative or they're just that stupid and they don't think the game will last that long. I mean, they never did think the game would last that long. So maybe they still have that mentality. I don't know. I don't know. It, it's hard to know. Like it, it, the only thing we can go off of is kind of make a guess off of what they're showing us with their actions. You know what I mean? And what I feel like they're showing us with their actions is they don't care about the future of the game because they don't care to be a part of it and they don't want to be a part of it. And they want the money now so they can finish the game and be done with it. That's that's what it feels like. They're aiming for the release a lot quicker than we would have guessed based on what they had planned in the past. And maybe make a couple... Like I, I think that they're planning to release within the next one to two years. Um, I honestly think it's the wipe after next wipe. I think we're going to get one more wipe. And it's going to be kind of like finalizing a lot of stuff. And then the next wipe after that's going to be the release... And then the following years after that are going to be like some DLCs to kind of make people who bought EOD think the game is worth it. Uh, like their EOD was worth it and they got some DLC value and then they're going to be done. That That's my prediction for the game going forward. I think that the um, release of the game when it releases on Steam is going to be quite a big point for the game. And then it's never going to get bigger than that. I think it's just going to slowly dwindle from that point on. That's my prediction. Um... That is like completely based off of just what the devs seem to be showing, which obviously I'm just making a guess, um, but I don't know. Um, they've talked about wanting to make other games, though, and they never really seemed to think of EFT as something that was going to be long lasting. But I think over the last couple years, the thing is that they've kept talking about the future as if the future was never ending. You know what I mean? Like the project was just going to keep going. More stuff was going to be added. You know what I mean? All this stuff. But then... Recently, there's been a shift to where it doesn't really feel like they're talking about the future anymore. It feels like they're more talking about the end, if that makes sense. Um, so, I don't know. I don't know. It's just it's just what I feel. I mean, I could be completely wrong. I don't want to say that there's, like, that is a definite. But that's the vibes I'm getting, and that's my prediction. I, that's that's really what I assume is going to happen. Um, I, the, the release of the game should happen within the next one to two years, 100%. Unless there's, like, a big delay. Uh, I'm, I'm counting two years because of the delay. I think their, like, definite plan is to release in the next... The wipe after next wipe. We should get one wipe within the next two months. And then six months after that, in, like, December, he said, or January, we're going to get the next wipe, which I think is going to be the release of the game. Um, If there's no delays or anything. But it's BSG, so there could easily be delays, and then it'll be six months or, like, a year after that. So I think we're going to get the release of the game pretty soon. Um, what is up, by the way? Rhett, sorry, I wanted to finish my thoughts. Uh, it's a cute offline screen. Yeah, yeah, Fluffkin's made it. It's really cute, actually. Really cute. It's also the BRB screen. Because I don't have that many screens, so I just used it for everything. The BRB screen and the starting soon screen. It's all three. <laughs> and the offline screen. Um, but it's a cute little image. Cute little image. I like it. Um, hopefully you're doing well, though. Rhett, it's good to see you. Hello, hello, hello. Um, so yeah, there's not too much else to talk about. Um, they did do... Uh, there is a uh, comment on YouTube, which uh, is pretty funny. It was posted to Reddit. Uh, <laughs> it's like a back and forth between Nikita and the community. Nikita, pay to win and scam. Community, no. Pay to win and scam, but you get a discount? No. 
Pay to win, but no scam for six months in a discount. No. Pay to win, but no scam at some point after the release. A discount and you get some of the pay to win? Pay to win, but no scam. A discount, you get even more pay to win and a voucher. <laughs> I mean that's that's basically what this has been. Um Yeah. Yeah. Basically what what we've uh what we've experienced. Um mm -mm -mm. Uh, supposedly, this was only 50 minutes ago. Ooh, I don't know how true this is. This could be, this could be a big development. Um. Apparently the YouTuber who made, um, the video talking about how BSG has treated the Russian Tarkov community really poorly, that YouTuber apparently got banned from Tarkov. Uh... <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Um. So yeah, it definitely. I mean, like with the Sigma thing, and I mean, it feels like they're kind of just fucking just trying to silence people who are fucking or punish people who are fucking talking bad about them. Um, sounds about right. Yeah, they really just make this worse and worse. Yeah, I mean, BSG has never handled stuff like this well, ever. Like, in any time any kind of, like, drama happens and they get flack for shit, they always handle it, like, super unprofessionally. Like, always. Like, they act so emotionally. It's always been a thing. I It just hasn't happened in a while. Like, that's the thing. It hasn't happened in a while, so we thought, okay, maybe they've improved. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, as a company, you should, like, do better at these things. I mean, like, Tarkov is a really big game. The only reason that people don't realize Tarkov is a really big game these days is that it's not on Steam. That's literally it. Like, if Tarkov, and it's from a company that nobody knows, you know what I mean? Like, stuff like League of Legends, people know about that. You know what I mean? Valorant, people know about that because it's it's Riot. You know what I mean? But Tarkov is a really big game these days. They need to start fucking acting like it. You know what I mean? Like, they, they can't do shit like this. Like, Tarkov is a big contender in the fucking gaming market. And... It's it's just that it's just that the, the, it's like it's not on Steam, it's not on any other platform, and they're not a big company. Like Tarkov used to be small. Like when I first started playing Tarkov, it was very small. It was like underground, not that heard of. The only people who really knew about Tarkov was like the hardcore FPS gamers, people who played like DayZ and Arma and stuff like that. Like those people knew about it, and you saw those type of YouTubers covering Tarkov in the alpha and the beta but then after that first twitch event man the game has exploded since then and it's actually like a big contender now um it's 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 they need to start fucking acting like it but they they aren't i assume they would have by now because and it's been a while since anything too drama related happened but i don't know this is bad this is bad have you seen much of gray zone yeah i've seen i've seen quite a bit of gameplay and stuff it doesn't really appeal to me um i don't know it's like i love the raid system of tarkov like a lot of people say like oh <laughs> i don't know man a lot of people hate on tarkov and they're like oh i can't wait till a competitor comes out like a good competitor but i like tarkov like i like tarkov for what it is like i like the gameplay of tarkov um it's not just that it's like an extraction shooter i like tarkov specifically um so Gray Zone really does not interest me at all. It looks kind of meh. Kind of meh. Um, I think it's way, way early as well. It'll get better, but I also just don't like the kind of idea of it. This whole kind of, like, faction-based, kind of more like dayz esque but you kind of, like... Honestly, I hate how often people go back to their base. Like, your backpack seems so small. I mean, these, thing these are things that can change, but, like, the core gameplay stuff of, like, being able to go back to your body and there being like different factions and you're not supposed to kill your own faction i don't know i, I don't really like all that stuff um the game isn't bad though or anything I, I definitely think it's a little bit early and um people are complaining a lot about the performance and stuff but the developers seem like they care about the game a lot and they do actually want it to succeed 
I'm really annoyed that they went the same route as monetization as Tarkov because it shows that they are not capable of like differentiating themselves from Tarkov that much because it's like oh well Tarkov monetized themselves that way so let's do that too and it's like you could have done something better and healthier you know what I mean like you didn't have to also add in the pay to win elements from Tarkov you know what I mean like yes you are inspired by Tarkov yes you're in the same genre but that does not mean you just have to copy everything like leave the bad parts you know what I mean like leave the bad parts away take the good parts and make something unique you know what I mean and add some stuff of your own you know what I mean um but yeah it's got a ways to go yeah yeah I, I it's like early alpha I think they are like apparently they said the developers of gray zone said that it was planned for them to release anyways um it's not to do with the tarkov drama that they just plan to release anyways i don't know about that i don't know about all that um i mean they did a fucking like their first ever alpha play test and then like what two weeks later they released the game to everybody i don't know that seems that seems a bit much i mean at most they're doing the classic classic early access thing where they are um I mean, I don't want to call them liars, because that's basically what I'm doing if I say that they're lying about saying they was going to release anyways. But they're doing the classic early access thing of, like, have everybody beta test our game. You know what I mean? That's basically what it is. Like, the game is, like... I mean, it, it's, it's like, the entire middle of the map, which is, like, supposed to be, like, the end game, is just inaccessible. Like, it's, like, the actual, like, core gameplay loop of the game isn't even there yet. You know what I mean? Like, you're supposed to, like, go into that end game area. You know what I mean? But, like, it's not even there. So it's, like, I don't know. And I mean, like, the way that it's designed with, like, the starting areas makes the PvP, like, take forever to actually access. I don't know. It, it, it's, it's, it's early. It's, it's way early. It's got a ways to go, for sure. But, um, I mean, it doesn't seem bad, though. It's got potential, for sure. But, I don't know. It doesn't really interest me specifically, but that doesn't mean it's bad or anything. Um, is there anything else? Oh, they released a new thing. Everybody was hoping that they were going to talk about EFT today because they were streaming on the Battlestate Games Twitch account, but it was just for Arena. They did a new game mode for Arena, which is like a free-for-all. Uh, they released that free-for-all. Uh, people are laughing about Arena, and it's time to make it free-to-play, <laughs> um, and they need to do something because the game has, like, fucking nobody watching it on Twitch. Although I do think that's not a great metric because a lot of the people who stream Arena just stay in the Escape from Tarkov category, even though that's, like, actually not allowed on twitch you're not supposed to do that um you can get in trouble if twitch chooses to enforce it but they never do so um but people stay in the escape from karkov category because there's obviously more people that check out that category so it's just kind of people like a little bit gaming the system but also some people just don't care to switch you know what i mean um so yeah um this guy makes a good point and i agree with this tarkov will never die in quotations but it also won't reach its highest of highs ever again i agree with that i think the next the next big thing that's going to happen and the last big thing that's going to happen for tarkov is the release the release will be the highest point it will ever reach ever again um i don't know if that point will be higher than it has been in the past i think the game go coming up on steam will add a lot of players because a lot of people might not have even heard of tarkov and also, a lot of people refuse to play something that's not on Steam or from a company that they don't trust, like third-party launcher. Like, if it's Riot or EA or something like that, or Blizzard, then fair enough. You know, they'll download an extra launcher. But some random company called Battlestate Games that they've never heard of, and, um, like, they only have their one game, Escape from Tarkov, some people just aren't going to do it. You know what I mean? Um, so I do think that adding it on to steam will boost up the player numbers a lot uh 0 0.4 train start was really high right we don't know exactly steam will actually be really interesting because steam you are not allowed to um hide player numbers that's one thing that steam kind of does which is really cool is that you can always see the player numbers for all the people on steam i think the majority of people will still play the game on the bsg launcher but new people will play the game on Steam, and it'll be interesting to see the player account drop over the course of a wipe. You won't be able to see all the players, but trends will, unless something directly only affects the Steam players, you'll be able to see the trends really well, which is cool. Um, so that's kind of exciting for when it gets added to Steam. Um, 
who knows when that'll be though i i think i mean they've said in the past that when they release the game they plan to put it on steam uh whenever asked about it it's always been when the release happens we'll put it on steam so i do think that'll happen probably in december or january unless some kind of delay happens like i said but we don't know how big tarkov is or how fast the game like goes down in player numbers because they don't tell us pretty much no company does though. that's not that uncommon player numbers are only ever shown in very vague numbers like months after something happens and it's always just the positives they never show you negatives because it, it makes sense though because if you show negative numbers of like oh the player numbers are dropping guys like oh we have less players than we did in the past like obviously not saying that but just providing people the data people will be less inclined to play the game and spend money on the game because people don't like to spend money on something that they think is fleeting you know what i mean people want the game to stay forever it's kind of like it's just it makes sense i don't blame them or anything um there is a, another thing though from the live stream uh nikita said uh in quotes uh some people some guy says this is so people deliberately say i will not be playing this game so go away and go do something else. Why are you wasting time here? Why are you disturbing someone's space writing in chat? Right? That really says a lot. Um, so yeah, he said that. I don't think this is the smoking gun that people think it is. I think that obviously all of this hate and stuff is going to get to him, even if he's being malicious or ignorant with the additions to the game. I think that also the stream was about... I, like the big reason here that I don't think it's that big of a deal is that the stream was about Arena. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't actually have anything to do with the stuff that's happening to base game Tarkov. So, people saying, oh, I'm not going to be playing this arena shit. Fuck you. Fuck BSG. Like, that's not, like, it's just kind of like, fuck off. You know what I mean? Like, just fuck off. You know what I mean? We're trying to, like, do this, you know. Like, it's not that they're there talking about the drama. They're trying to show off their arena things. I, I don't think that's that much of a big deal. Like, I mean, he's he's he kind of makes a point. Like, okay, you're not going to play the game? Cool. Go away. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like... We don't care. Because, um, I mean, there's always going to be people who aren't going to play your game. You know what I mean? But the the point is, um, that's perfectly fine. Even if it's an overreaction, he's right. Fuck off. Do something else. Yeah. Like, I mean, like, especially, like, if it was them talking about the arena drama and it was people saying, oh, I'm not going to be playing Tarkov. Or if, they, if people talking about the Tarkov drama and people are saying, oh, I'm not going to play Tarkov anymore because of these changes, then it's like, okay, like, you know, like, you shouldn't react to people like that because people are expressing their disinterest. But that's not what the situation was. You know what I mean? Like, people aren't comprehending what was actually going on here, which is people are angry about what happened to Tarkov. They're doing a stream about Arena. You know what I mean? Like, and, like, the, the, what you're saying in chat is not helpful. You know what I mean? Like, I understand they're the same company. You're angry at the company, but they're doing an Arena thing right now. You know what I mean? Like, that's not relevant to Tarkov. You know what I mean? Like, I understand it's bad timing, but... You know, like, give them a little bit of a break in that regard. Like, yes, you know, be mad about the stuff that they did wrong, but also fucking, you know, at least have a little bit of fucking critical thinking and, like, fuck off. <laughs> um, also, I mean, let's be honest, the people in chat were probably not being very nice, okay? Like, it's the internet. People have no self-control. <laughs> like, zero. <laughs> so yeah people are probably not being the nicest people in the world um so yeah uh but that's about it so yeah i don't know i'm not uh <laughs> i'm definitely not satisfied <laughs> um i do think it's better the situation has gotten better there's stuff that you can earn in game now but it's like it's like, man, like, think about all the stuff you have to grind every wipe. And then now think that there's this extra stuff on top, right? You got to grind for the extra pockets. You got to grind for your fucking, your distress signal device. You got to grind for your fucking BTR device. You know what I mean? Like, this stuff just added on top of all this other stuff you have to grind for. You know what I mean? Like, the container and stash space was the only thing before. You know what I mean? That you had to grind for that EOD didn't. And those things felt rough you know what i mean it roughs the it's rough so you have to grind all this for those stash space especially early on when you need the stash space the most when you need those resources and then you have to do this quest line to get the epsilon container just so you're on like somewhat par level with eod owners i mean yes they have to do it for kappa but kappa is not 
the goal of the game. You know what I mean? Like, Kappa is, like, this extra, like, kind of trophy thing that you can work towards. So it's, like, extra stuff you had to grind for that they don't. And now there's more stuff like that on top. Um, I do think that they've lessened the blow a little bit and made stuff better. But I think that the main takeaway is that they haven't fixed the problem. They've just tried to distract you from it <laughs> and lessened it, if that makes sense. They are still adding the problem. You know what I mean? It's like they punched you in the face, but... They just put a glove on this time. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, it's not really a great analogy, but you get what I'm trying to say. Like, they lessened the blow, but they're still fucking punching you. You know what I mean? Like, they just don't give a shit, which is kind of shitty. Um, like, the, the action is still taking place. You know what I mean? They are still setting the precedent, and they are still, you know, committing the action. They just are, like, trying to make you more okay with it. Like, that's about it, Like, which is really shitty. Um, because, like, I mean, the stuff that they're adding now, like, the Unheard of Edition is here to stay. We can't get rid of it. Like I said, it's like the same thing with EOD. It's already been long enough now. There's been enough drama. They can't take people's stuff back. Um, they could have maybe done it within the first, like, 24 hours, but they can't do it now. You know what I mean? It's been, like, almost a week now. I mean, it has been a week, I think. So, it's like, they can't refund the edition, but they can try and lessen some of the stuff that's happening. You know what I mean? But... It doesn't feel like they're trying to lessen it. It feels like they're trying to, you know, put more things on to just distract you from what's happening. <sighs> Sag. Um, but we are going to play some Tarkov. That's pretty much all I'm going to talk about because I don't really want to talk about it all day. Um, if somebody has a question throughout the stream, I'll answer it. But I like to kind of talk about it all at the start of the stream and then move on. Unless something new happens, then sure. But, um, but yeah. We are going to play some Tarkov. I have 98 quests. 98 quests left that I want to complete. Um, I do need to kill... 9 PMCs today. We'll see if we accomplish that. Probably not. Um, I do have... New drama updates every stream. Pretty much. I mean, yeah. Unless uh, yesterday stuff happened. But the day before that, nothing happened. Today... There was the stream today. So a little bit happened. But... Um, See, so yeah, I have 98 quests left. So I'm going to try and crack out some more today. We did some lighthouse quests last stream. We're going to do some more today. I have quite a few. Um, I do have this peacekeeper quest, which is kill 20 bears. I have 19 more that I need to kill. Um, yeah, so what quest do I want to do? I have easy job. I have easy job part one and part two, and then some other quest. I have drug trafficking. Um, I have overpopulation and then revision lighthouse. I have energy crisis and that's it. We do energy crisis. Don't know what I do for that one though. That one might take a while. We do drug trafficking. This is a really easy one. Uh, and I should do this before I get tagged by rogues. So this is a good idea. We'll do this one. Come on in, mercenary. I have a high suspicion that someone opened a new drug distribution point or even a whole drug laboratory in Tarkov. How do I know this? Well, first of all, I've treated many people with somewhat familiar symptoms recently. Dilated pupils, tremors, confusions, and so on. But now, secondly, my people who are evacuating the refugees from the city notice suspicious people near the containers in the lighthouse territory. One of my men wanted to investigate and almost got killed. They definitely guard that place. And you find it and place a camera overlooking the place. Not asking to tear the place down or eliminate these so-called cooks. You understand me? Do not risk your life for nothing. For now, I only need the recordings from the cameras. Okay, I do know where that is. It is by the train yard. So we just need to go over there, which is really easy as a use set. If you're a bear, this quest is kind of a fucking struggle. As a use set, it's quite easy. And probably just do this in like one raid. We'll bring the Thor armor. I'm down. This looks good. What do I want to bring? I kind of want to bring a G28. I could do an ADAR. I have all these weapons, so I should use some of these weapons. STM9 is kind of fun, but it's not good enough. 
quite good enough. Uh, where's that gunslinger? I'll take that. Cool. Mm, what gun am I gonna bring? I don't know. Do I have something fun? Uh, SKS. I don't know. I guess it's kind of lame. Do you have a G28? I kind of want to bring a G28, so we're going to do that. Ooh, what about a loud G28? I kind of like that, actually. Let's do that. I know I'm a weirdo, but listen. I don't know. I like loud guns. I know that they're worse, but... I really do not need to use a Grawl for this. If I'm going loud, it's going to be... Okay, maybe we go quiet. Can you put a dragon on? You can put a dragon on. Hey, just put this thing on. Let's just slap that thing on. Just for fucking easiness. 50 ergo. Oof. G28 is a sick gun. I really like it. I do really like it. I'm happy that you can buy it now. I've started using it a bit more. Uh, I might bring my keys. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be like. I already have a backpack. I'm done. Um. I'm not like trying to collect items, so it's not a big deal. And then I just need a stack of ammo. good i do need a camera uh is it just one camera and those cameras are fucking expensive just one camera oh uh, yeah maybe i'm gonna buy another camera just in case I don't want to have to make multiple trips. Buy fucking three cameras. <laughs> I assume it's just one camera, because she said entrance, right? What'd she say? Says... Overlooking the place. Yeah, it should just be one camera. I'll bring two, just in case. Maybe I'll bring three. Can only save them for other quests. Alright. We should be good. This is really easy as a USEC, so this will be an easy quest to crack out. This one, it's all good. I brought three. Just in case. <laughs> I assumed it was just one because she said overlooking, so. This is easy. If we get an easy spawn, I mean, I can just run straight there. If I don't get an easy spawn, it might be a bit of a trek, but it's pretty chill as a USAC. You can just walk past the rogues, and there's really not anybody back by the train yard usually, so it's pretty safe. Occasionally, you'll meet somebody back there if they do the same thing and they run back there early for whatever reason, but it's usually, like, really chill back there. Man, I fucking dropped something earlier. I dropped a... How close you can get to them is USEC? Really close. You can get, like, like right up against the wall, pretty much. You'll see if they're still alive when I get there. You can, like, walk on the road next to the treatment plant. They pretty much won't shoot you unless you enter. Like, unless you enter the walls of the compound. Um... I dropped something earlier. I dropped like a fucking a glass container with a whole bunch of hard boiled eggs in it. It shattered everywhere. That was not pleasant. Not pleasant. <sighs> no, yeah, it's, it's not 
not great. Not great. Thankfully, there was no cats around. I swept it all up. It's all good, but that was... <laughs> it always sucks to break shit. But it's okay. I had some sandwiches. I had a whole bunch of cranberry juice. I fucking love cranberry juice. Cranberry juice is the fucking drink of the gods. Not as good as Mountain Dew, though. Oof. Mountain Dew is tasty. I want some Mountain Dew now. I, since we talked about that mystery flavor, I've been craving. I've been craving the Mountain Dew. It's bad. Bad. <laughs> I, 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 like... It's, it's crazy, though, because Anima said the other stream when I was talking about it, like, oh, I've never had Mountain Dew and been happy that it was not anything else. When it's, like, the exact opposite for me. You know what I mean? Like, I fucking love Mountain Dew. <laughs> but it's crazy how different it is for different people. You know what I mean? Like, people just like different things. Like, I fucking... God, I, like, it is, like, fucking... It is, like, crack cocaine. <laughs> Not that I've ever had crack cocaine, but it's highly addictive. I drink Mountain Dew and I'm like, yes, this is so good. <laughs> and then I like drink more. And then I'm like, fuck, I just drank a whole bunch of caffeine. I'm not going to go to sleep anytime soon. <laughs> it's really bad. Actually, to be fair, I don't really feel the effects of caffeine that heavily. I feel it if I drink quite a lot. It'll definitely keep me up a bit. But... The main thing I feel is when I stop having it. Like, if I have caffeine, like, every day for, like, four plus days in a row, and then the day I don't have any, I feel like shit. Like, I feel like, ugh. Like, it just, like, genuinely, like, I'm fucking, like, over-encumbered in a video game. Like, I just, I, I feel like just everything is, like, ugh. It's really bad. It's why I try and avoid caffeine as much as I can. Because it just, like, I can immediately feel it as soon as I stop. Source on this food, because you wasted food and the broke the dish, yeah. Yeah, I would have liked those eggs. I like hard-boiled eggs. I like hard-boiled eggs. Alright, so. We just have to go this way. There is a spawn up here. That we might run into. Not a coffee indulger. I like iced coffee, but again, I don't want to drink the caffeine. I do like iced coffee. There could be somebody up in these houses. Or in this forest. I really hate this forest. But I do want to push around this rock so I don't get shot in the back. Check Marin Key if looks clear. Player base is quite low right now, and people don't really like Lighthouse, so these raids might be a little bit empty. Well, that sucks. <laughs> nice shot. Uh, yeah, I don't know how far away that guy was. Okay, what's up, Arbiter? How you doing? <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. That is a bit of a shame. I don't know if that guy was close or not. It sounded like he was kind of far, but... I mean, it makes sense to watch Marin at the start of the raid. Usually, people go there straight away if they spawn nearby, so... Maybe opening it right away is kind of a bad I call. Maybe opening it right away is kind of a bad call. Feels bad, man. Oof, thermal. Yeah, he's probably trying to get Shooter born in heaven or something. I'm not really sure what he's trying to do. 
Fair enough. Good kill. I'm not in three. Yeah, that was probably a bad idea to open it. Maybe running there straight away is better. Like if I go slow like that, opening it is not a great idea. If I run straight away though, there is a spawn up ahead and they could also go to the trunk. So I will kind of be like running straight into a fight there. So I think maybe off that spawn, I just don't open it. You know what I mean? Like maybe it's just not worth it. I mean, there is a Bitcoin spawn in there, but I don't know. I don't know. That's all good. You can go again. I think just going there immediately is kind of a bad call. I mean, like, I do the same thing. If I spawn nearby, I can, like, look at it from far away. And, uh, usually pretty easy kill. Because, obviously, they're in an unlock animation. You're kind of out in the open. So, yeah, it's kind of my bad. Kind of my bad. SVD could be good. Do an SVD. I'll do an SVD. Hmm. Do I still have a thing in my stash? I can buy them now, though, so it's not a big deal. There is a, is it this? No, is it this? No. There's an attachment, is it goes on this? No. Where does it go on to? This thing. Oh, it has minus one though, yeah. Minus not worth it. Not worth it. this thing as well you can put the pdw this is 21 but this is two i can go two plus is there anything else i feel like there's another stock that's pretty good The shock stock not better? No. Okay, so I guess the PDW is the best. I'll go with the PDW. Oh. I mean, I should probably use this thing because it just gives the best ergo and the SVD really struggles with ergo. What's it at? 40? 40.5 for an SVD is not bad actually. That is actually not bad. Okay, we try again. Get another cell. Grow a backpack and a CF mask, and we're good. Going grenades. I shall not open that trunk again. Did not end good. Did not end good. We will be doing some rogue killing later, because Prapper actually wants us to kill the rogues and go up on the roofs and shit. You know that. So. We'll actually have to do some of that. But for now, we'll crack out some of these easier ones. Am 
might do some more melee kills later, potentially. I do want to finish these lighthouse stats today, though. All right, good job. We go. A little bit unfortunate, but it's okay. I think this will probably be like 35 ergo, which for an SVD is really good with the Magan. It's not bad at all. But I mean, it is with like the best parts. Well, for a silenced SVD, it's not bad at all. But it is like with the best parts for... Uh... Uh, actually, you might be able to get better ergo if you... Use a different chassis. I don't know. I don't know how good the sag is. I know that it's not the best for recoil. That other one is the best for recoil now. The modernization kit. So I, I don't know how good this one is for ergo. This might be the best one for ergo. Or it might be just like a stepping stone for the modernization kit. And the other one's good. The um, Because there's three SVD kits now. Sag, modernization, and the... I don't know, it's like a CAA or something. I really like the SVD. It's actually in a good spot, this wipe. It's like kind of like a lower tier DMR. It shoots bigger bullets, but it's just... it's It's got like kind of clunky... I mean, 20 rounds is more than enough for an SVD. It's like... it's a decent amount. I, I do think 25 would feel nicer, like the SR25 and RSAS and stuff. But um, 20 is decent enough, but it does have that downside. And it's like Ergo just isn't that great. And it's recoil. And it's like just a heavy fucking weapon. Like it's just big, heavy, and kind of cumbersome. But it shoots big ass fucking bullets, so good enough. And you can get a hold of them quite easily. So, I do think the SVD is actually in a good spot this way. I, I would put it like a tier lower than the SR25, but it's still quite high up there. I do want to do a tier list at some point, this wipe, at the end. I think it'd be fun to rank all the weapons and stuff. I, I, like, I feel like you kind of have to use them in Tarkov, though. Like, to really be able to put, like, a ranking on them. And the thing is, is that there's just so many weapons. That it's, like, hard to use all of them. You know what I mean? And, like, actually, like, give accurate information until, you know, pretty late on when you've used them all. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not even tired. I don't know why I'm yawning. I'm not sure if I'll be able to complete all the quests that I want to do today. Or not today. Um, in general before the wipe happens because i do think they're gonna try and push the wipe sooner rather than later because of all the drama that's happened but i have 98 quests i want to complete <laughs> no this is this is true it is a pretty fucking old gun uh, okay, this is a good spawn, actually. Ooh, but there is a spawn over there. That's the problem. So, if I want to go to the treatment plant, there's a spawn right over there. I can go down, though, and avoid them. I'm gonna pop a painkiller. And then just see if I see them quickly. And then if not, I'm just gonna make a run for it. So because I'm a USAC, I don't need to worry about going the other way. So I'm just gonna go this way. I don't need to fight that guy up on the hill. He could shoot at me here, but it would be kind of difficult. I'm not going to stress it too much. It's
It's just dumb to play bear, honestly. Like, the advantages on Lighthouse are just, like, worthwhile just picking you sec, and there's no advantages to being bear other than the drip. The drip is nice, don't get me wrong. I do like the bear drip, but... The actual advantages of being you sec kind of just outweigh, and it's like... I have played bear before, don't get me wrong. And I did enjoy it, and the outfits were cool. Uh, I think you can go along that wall. I'm gonna go this way, though. <laughs> to really manage to be cooler, sure. I might meet somebody going this way, but I don't trust going that way because there might be somebody up on those hills. Nobody's taken out the guards yet. If you're still here, Patty, you can see how close I actually am going to be able to get. I mean, I can walk right here, and he doesn't care. Obviously, there can be other PMCs out here, though, so you do kind of need to be a little bit careful, but... We should be mostly fine, though. I don't think there will be too many people out here. There could be one person, though. If they had spawned, um... That man just insulted your drip tree. Call me a skip. There could be one guy... We spawned by the Marin key and he ran out here if he's a you set. But I do need to be a little bit careful because it could be somebody out here, so I can't just assume that it's clear. But the game is running really well right now for some reason. I'm getting like really good frames. Feeling quite smooth. It's just a really easy way to get to the train yard without having to fight anybody, though. It's, it's like this map is like really badly designed because of the way the train yard is and with bears getting shot at. It kind of like makes the map feel a lot smaller than it actually is. And the part that everybody's like kind of forced to play on is not designed very well for that many people to be on it because it's just a lot of like linear paths. So, I don't know. This map is kind of weird. It just doesn't feel natural to play. Kind of strange. Close that in case somebody else comes along. So that way they don't know I'm here. Because it might mean that they give themselves away. Again, there's nobody around. I forgot to bring water. I always need to bring water. Um, I've been forgetting a lot lately. Should be like 35 ergo on this, right? 38. Uh, the mags don't actually take that much. I thought they took like five. But they take like two. Cool. Head into the train yard. We'll go straight for the drug drug place, and then we'll come back. Very quiet. Lighthouse might be a bit empty today. Maybe I should have picked a different, uh, different, different, different idea. 
I think we'll stick to the lighthouse test, though. I just want to get them done. I haven't done it. I've been putting them off for a long time. Also, I think the player base is just quite low right now. Because everybody's upset about the trauma and shit. I think on the weekend it'll shoot back up. I don't think the player base will quite recover though. What it was before the drama and shit. This might be the energy crisis stuff. I don't want anybody to tell me if it is, but... This is probably what it is, actually. This is what the image looks like. There's a secret stash around here somewhere. I can't remember where it is. Back here more? It might not have spawned this time. I think it might be like right here, actually. I don't think it spawned. Yeah, this looks just like the picture mechanics thing, so. Seems pretty empty. Last raid, I probably got killed by the only guy on the fucking map. that? Oh, fuck did that work? <laughs> oh, there's a fucking box here. Climb up on that. Alright, well, this seems really fucking empty. Are all the peoples? Maybe place the camera here. This, uh, dash a Wi-Fi camera in the drug lab. Oh. Matter where? These barrels seem good. There can be really good stuff in here, actually. There's stims and there's some spawn points for. Some Quest done. That's fine. All right. Well, we got a quest done. Quest complete. Could try and break into some of the water treatment buildings just to get a little bit of loots. I mean, it seems real quiet. Could be a good opportunity to sneak in and grab some loots. I do have a lot of keys. Don't know where they all go to, though, to be fair. How empty are these fucking raids? Fuck! For all the peoples. Come on, motherfuckers. We're playing some Tarkov. Not that bad, I swear. Hmm. A lot of people are just fucking annoyed 
I mean, a lot of people are saying they aren't playing the game right now, which is fair. I mean, I don't, I don't blame them, but um, it makes me sad because I want to play the game <laughs> currently. Everybody else probably plans to return next wipe. I plan to leave next wipe. <laughs> I want to play now. <laughs> Why do I always like go against the crowd? Why? Why do I? Why am I a weirdo? I don't know. I think if I shoot that guy, he's gonna be made. Can't jump in any of these windows. I'm gonna try and sneak in and grab some loot. Really a hip shirt heart, honestly. I'm just gonna loot up this building and then we'll leave. Seven hundred. There was a foul before that. Though. I know where that is. Be certain. Can I climb on top of this? You for real, man? This is my only chance to get away.
You're fucking dead, homie. See ya! I'm out of here. Players scabs. Wow, you know what? You know what? Now the map is popping off. You want to know why? Because the fucking player scab spawned in. It's so stupid. <laughs> I'm fucking out, dude. <laughs> fuck this shit. I'm out of here. <laughs> they can have fun with that shit. Oh, fuck my legs! My legs! I thought there might have been mines there. We might have to wait for the train. <laughs> I like how you hear him fucking strategizing though. That, that part's kind of fun. <laughs> Let's get it just let us get some gear and we'll cook, we'll fucking toast him. That's kind of funny. Oh, I drive Southern Road actually. Uh, I could just extract. Might be smart to just extract. I kind of am tempted to see if I can snipe any on the roof though. Just because I dislike players camp. <laughs> Hard to hit him. Two of them up there. I might have killed him up on the roof. I can tell. It's like really dark over there. Is it really that far? It's like, that's like 100 meters at most. It's like really hard to see. It's just overcast, I guess. I, I think we're good. Let's get out of here. I think I killed him, honestly. Hard to tell, though.
Where do these scabs keep disappearing to? Well, maybe he walked upstairs, actually. Oh. oh, no, they just keep disappearing. Maybe he turned around? Oh, yeah, there. He does have a TV 110 rig. I want to grab that for my quest. Just to get something out of this raid. That's an M700 guy. We got some action. I think we got a little something something. Thought this is gonna be a boring raid. Train is here. <laughs> a little bit risky, but. What's life without a little risk? Um, supposedly on this table there is a spawn for the, um, the silicone book, which lets you craft lead X's in your hideout. No, I mean, I could have made that riskier, to be fair. <laughs> I could have made that riskier by fucking waiting until the train was, like, right there to jump, but that would have just been silly. So I want to hop on the train... There's no real reason to. I can just leave, uh... I can just leave what you got. Let's just get some more loot and get out. I do want to do some speedrunning. I kind of hope Tarkov speedrunning does become a thing. It's very different from how I like to play Tarkov, but it'll be a way that I can play Tarkov... And kind of like, I don't know, just have fun with the game. Also, I feel like it'll be a way I can show that I am good at the game. <laughs> I know I don't have to show it to anybody, but kind of just show it to myself. This is Southern Road, right? Ah, oh, shit. Not Southern Road, it's Northern Checkpoint. I forgot. Okay, we do need to take the train. Fuck. Okay. Makes things a little bit more complicated. can take other extracts after the train is gone. Like, it's not like the train is our only choice, but um, the other options aren't exactly easy.
train will do the other horn when there's a minute left. was somebody here before. We're just gonna scav though. We sit and we wait. Probably got, when did it show up? Like maybe like 16? Probably showed up at like 16 or 17. But we probably got about like three minutes left. Usually stays for about 10 minutes. I think it's random though like seven to ten minutes that it sticks around for. It just always gives the uh, train horn when there's one minute left. So, until we hear that train horn, we're chilling. Usually nobody takes the train on this map, so we're usually fine. But there might be a player scab that tries to show up. Occasionally there has been. We'll probably do Energy Crisis next. That is one quest. Knocked off, though. We're down to 97 quests. 97. Definitely fucked them up. They weren't liking that. They got fucked up. I wish I would have killed one in that doorway, though. We obviously didn't get any of their loot, but hey, we survived. That's more valuable in my books. We got out with a little bit of money. So. Can't complain. I mean, I feel like the next wipe is going to have no content. I feel like the most content... Like, I mean, there will be some, don't get me wrong. But I feel like... I mean, a lot of it's just going to be fucking... Like, there's going to be the expanded pocket quests. There's going to be the new nostalgia quest. There's going to be the fucking new BTR item quest. There's going to be the new fucking radio quest. The new fucking distress signal quest. I mean, that's pretty much going to be everything. I mean, like, <laughs> what else are they going to fucking add? I guess, like, they didn't even know that they were going to have to add quests for that stuff until now. You know what I mean? So it's like they can't be ready yet, so they have to work on that stuff. I mean, like, so I feel like they're going to kind of be kind of rushed. Hopefully they have some other stuff prepared for the next wipe. I don't know if there's going to be anything there. I don't really care. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I don't really fucking care. I'm going to fucking play something else, so... Um, so this was the shotgun scav with the 3M. This was the scav who I killed in the roof. This would have been the scav who I killed with the AK. Um, and then Tarkov losing their biggest fan a little bit, yeah. And then this would have been... I killed two scavs. Killed one guy. Oh, this would have been the guy. Okay, yeah. So this was the guy inside the warehouse. This was the guy on the roof of the warehouse. 
This was the scav with the AK that I stole the WT rig off of. This was the guy with the M700 on the roof. And then this was the scav with the 3M and the shotgun. So I killed two player scavs. Two player scavs on the roof. Nice. Yeah, a little bit losing their biggest fan. I mean, I, I, I do really love Tarkov. I mean, not saying that I am their biggest fan, but I, I do really love Tarkov a lot more than I feel like a lot of other people do because I, I really want Tarkov to succeed. Like, I, I don't want some other game to take its place. Like, I want Tarkov to succeed. But um, I feel like I care about that more than BSG does. Which is kind of really shitty feeling, but... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. But I guess the thing is is that succeeding just has different terms for other people. Other people might just think of it as money, you know what I mean? Whereas I'm thinking about it in terms of, you know, being a popular, successful game. Being the best game that it can be, you know what I mean? All right, let's sell this shit. that quest you set it up my thanks oh no mercenary i cannot tell you what i'll do with these tapes what button uploads the video you say which is gonna upload them you won't tell us what they're gonna do with them but she wants to upload and upload it to youtube um well that is another quest done i don't know therapist is always doing some shady shit Cool. That is another quest done. 97 quests left. Only four therapist quests. Only four therapist quests. 97 quests left. I think we'll do, um, I think we'll do... I think we'll do Energy Crisis. I think. I know where that is. Hey friend, I could use some help. It takes an incredible amount of energy to sustain my current activities, especially considering my farm, one you helped me with the resources for. I usually order fuel from other sources, but unfortunately there is no way to contact the supplier at the moment. You think there are still unexhausted fuel tanks left somewhere? I think there should be at least somewhere, some left in the Cape area. You check it out. Ooh. Anchor trucks. Gotcha. Oh, he lets me buy the tier 5 plates. That's actually really nice. Okay. Do not know, want to know. Do not want to know where these are. Nobody tell me. A lot of people have a desire, but I'd like to find them myself. We have one marker. Need four, so let's buy some. I don't know where the tanker trucks are, but tanker trucks are usually pretty easy to spot. There's one on the bridge. I'll bring that. Um, and my plate did get shot. Can I repair it? No. Oh, five plates soaked a bullet for me, which is pretty nice. Uh, I do need another salwa. Cool. We're actually going to have to move around a lot here. These uh, tanker trucks, I don't know where they are exactly. 
I know that one of them's by the train yard, so we're gonna just head straight there. I know the the group of tanks are by the train yard. So we're gonna head straight there, mark those, and then we'll figure it out from there. Try and get any as many others. We might have to do this in multiple raids, but that's perfectly okay. I thought he was just gonna ask me to mark that, but he he wants fucking loads of fuel, dude. This guy's fucking desperate for the fuel. We might not meet that many PMCs, but honestly, I'm not going to get too mad at the player scavs right now because at least it's something to fight. I mean, like, you know, if I was just on the map by myself, like, that's, that's, like, I do want to point out that I do not think player scavs should be removed. I hate them, and I think they're in a terrible designed, like, point in the game right now, and they need to be fixed, balanced, whatever you want to call it, ASAP. But I do not think they should be removed because they actually are very fun, and they serve a very important purpose to the game. Because of the way that raids work, the player scav mechanic is actually really needed. Otherwise, raids will get very dull and very empty very quickly. I think having that second wave come in, a wave that is a little bit less geared, isn't the same as PMCs. They have, you know, they spawn in different locations. They have different goals. That kind of thing is good. But it just needs to be balanced a little bit better for them to, like, kind of not, kind of, like, unbalance the, uh, kind of systems and play in Tarkov. But because it's like raids don't have a continuous supply of players, like something like the cycle had, without those player scavs, the raids will get empty and be like, they just aren't gonna flow properly without that extra like injection of players into every raid. The player scavs are really needed, but it's just, they need to be a little bit, a little bit fine tuned. Um, maps like Reserve, Lighthouse, and Streets are really unbalanced for player scavs. That's why you don't see that many player scavs on other maps anymore. And they need to have some kind of uh, cost assigned to them and be a little bit less combat ready so it's not just like PvP orientated. You know, it's a little bit more like then they need to spawn in later. Maybe not all of these things because if you do all of these things then it might be a bit much. But I would start with just like one or two of these things and then kind of, you know, keep adjusting i'd probably start with spawning them in later into raids so that way they can actually serve their real purpose which is kind of just to be that kind of like second injection of players and then if that's not enough i would start making them a little bit less combat ready and if that's not enough then i would assign some kind of cost to them so that way they aren't just free money i would probably assign the cost right away too honestly just because the fact that free money just shouldn't exist in darkov in my opinion anything that's free like, I mean, I don't mind the scav case because there's a, there's an inherent investment to it. And then you have to um, pay money on top of it. But it's like slot machines. But you'll pretty much always make profit if you pay like the cheapest one. That's okay because it's not much profit and the cheapest, like the, the, the bare minimum, like you have to pay that paywall, you know what I mean? That entry fee to get the scav case in the first place. Most player scam is just free money. People do argue, though, that you have to spend your time. The time is money. But then, how come a PMC can't do the same thing? You know what I mean? Kind of just incentivizes people to play their player scam instead of their PMC, which I don't think could be the incentive. You do have to have some kind of incentive, though. I don't think that the cost of player scav should be that high, but it just should be just, like, something. Okay, we got this spawn again. Okay, we're not going to open the Marin key this time. Oh, the raids have been kind of quiet, so I'm going to move a little bit more, a little bit more fast here. Fuck, I'm tempted. There's good stuff inside that Marin Key, man. Fuck, the greed's gonna kill me, dude. I want to open it. 
I want to open it. I heard somebody. Be wrong now. I open it. Oh, fuck it. We got some, got some free goodies. I do want to go across the bridge because I do think there is a tanker truck on there. I do want to go across the bridge. I don't think the rogues will be angry at me. Fuck, they might be, though. No, 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 I didn't shoot any. I didn't shoot any. We'll be good. I entered their compound. I didn't shoot any. Entering their compound doesn't carry over between raids. It's just, um, just shooting them that does. So because I didn't shoot any and I'm a use sec, we're fine. Grenade launcher guy is dead. There is PMCs around though. Here's the tanker truck. I remember this one.
Still didn't bring water. Fuck's sake. I think there might be somebody this way. I'm a little bit concerned. I'm dehydrated. Yeah, there's somebody over here. Water. Oh, pineapple juice. Literally worse than water. I would rather have water than pineapple juice. I'm so sorry, Flotsam. It's the truth. Pineapple juice is just gross. I don't know, I hate it. It is not tasty goodness. It's the nectar of the gods. Wow. I don't know about you, but the gods can keep their nectar. <laughs> I ain't interested. Worried you might have a friend. It's pretty clear. Do some loot hiding in a second. Here's a pretty good spot. Yep. Um, do I even want the? Oh god, that SR25 has no durability. I don't think I can use that SR25. It's got no durability. Switch out all the parts that I can. Why is this guy level 42 and he doesn't understand? It might be a newer player, to be fair. This game is not the most obvious thing in the world. Does he have good plates, at least? Oh, no, he doesn't. Uh, I can take out the side plates. I can even take out my tier 5 plate. game has a lot of intricate mechanics and shit, so we can't blame the guy. Alright, cool. Good to go. That guy was, like, right next to me while I was fucking munching. <laughs> the only reason he turned around is because he heard me drop. The dropping noise is much, much more audible than footsteps. 
So he would have heard that. That's why he turned around. We're just going to go to those tankers. And then from there, I need to find the other two fuel trucks. I don't know where they are, but I don't want to know. I'm going to try and find them. Sadly, that guy was not a bear. I need to kill 20 bears on Lighthouse. Do I have Northern Checkpoint? I should have it this time. Yeah, I do. If you spawn a little bit too close to it, you don't get it. Only the people who spawn farther away get it. But I didn't have it last time. Any fuel tanks down here? No. Car is there. Might be a fuel tank inside the train yard. Shots over there, that's fine. They might come over here after though. Let's get inside the train yard, try and mark that. Uh did I? Yeah. Move my marker up. Run is decent. That put me overweight though. I can't sprint anymore after this. Be too loud. My enjoyment? For Tarkov, this wipe has drastically increased ever since I put a number that I'm slowly working towards getting to zero. <laughs> I know I can't get it to zero because one of the quests is Escort, which is like basically impossible. I think that's like genuinely the only quest that I don't have any chance of completing. Everything else I should be able to complete just fine. But Escort is like genuinely impossible. I, I, I like don't see a world like you need like a five man and to really sweat it out to really have a chance of completing it even then it's gonna be a lot of work i i do not see that happening at all it's basically impossible in my opinion um but, that's pretty much the only quest that I feel like I don't have a chance of completing. Everything else, so I, I should be able to get it down to like one. Maybe two. Well, probably two. One for sure, two probably. But I don't think of any others that I shouldn't be able to complete. I should be able to complete all the rest. Oh, there's another fuel tank there. Nice. Okay. I'll need two more. Or one more. We're probably just going to extract from this raid. Go into another one. I'll go check out the drug lab and shit, though.
These bricks spawn so much on this map. Bullets of L191 will probably actually sell for quite a bit. inside the drunk lab. Nice. Hope he was a bear. Right. Free loot delivery. You shouldn't be mad at me, so. <laughs> he fucking gunned him down. Who was that that... I don't know, we're gonna see who that was. Or what that was, I should say. If there's anything in here that he missed real quick. Without a perception dot, it can be hard to find everything in here, I feel like. Who knows if that guy had 51 perception or not. Worth a little look-see. Yeah, looks like he got everything. Oh, nope. Now one. Not crazy valuable, but he did miss it. Glad I checked. He could have missed something better. Yeah. There's Gabby. shouldn't be mad at me. What'd you kill? There's cat. Can I loot him? Not a very smart player, Scout.
Alright, I'm pretty fucking heavy now. Drop that stuff. Also do this real quick. That will reduce some weight as well. There you go. 59 isn't too bad. Get the fuck out of here. I'm gonna check the, um... Check the, whatchacallit, train thing. Actually, I don't really need the lead X silicone thing. Even if it's there, it's not really useful to me. Actually, crafting lead X is... Could be kind of nice, because I can get a thick items case if I get a couple more. So, yeah, we'll check it. I don't think there's any more fuel tankers in here, right? With the look see. I don't think so. I just need one truck. I'll have to come back in and look for it. We have another checkpoint, so we can leave real easy. Northern. I remember when it first got added, it was really buggy, though. <laughs> it's pretty smooth now. I've never really had any issues with the train since that, like, first reserve patch. They, uh, they definitely cleaned it up. Just loot the uh, building and then we'll leave. Real quick, take a peek through. Grab whatever bits and pieces we can and then get the fuck out. Just take everything, honestly. Supposedly silicone book spawns on that table. I don't know how true it is. I mean, it's fucking just off the wiki, but... And the wiki seems pretty correct, but I also think that sometimes work of information just gets a bit muddled sometimes. Here.
Um, done. We got 75% of the quest done. Killed two PMCs. Got a whole bunch of loot. A plus. A plus. We will go back in and try and find that last fuel tanker. And then after that, we've got harder quests to do. Because I need to do... Um, I need to do overpopulation and revision reserve or revision lighthouse and then the easy jobs. I think we'll leave easy job for last because ironically not an easy job. <laughs> Vanilla tampon. Hmm. <laughs> what a name. <laughs> What a name. One of the best fucking insults I've heard is calling somebody a... Is it? Pretty sure it's a chocolate teapot. Because it basically... It, it's pointless. You know what I mean? It, it, <laughs> it can't even do its like primary function. <laughs> <laughs> Which, it's like completely innocent, you know what I mean? It's like a completely innocent insult, but I find it funny. I find it funny. I've never heard that before. It's. I feel like it's like a proper British thing to say. <laughs> Whenever I've heard them say it, it's, it's funny. I've only heard it occasionally. Very rarely, but... I've heard people call people chocolate tampons <laughs> before. That's what made me think of it. But that, that's more just being <laughs> fucking gross. Uh, that's, that's not a pleasant image. <laughs> um, do I need the power max? I feel like I can use power max for pretty good stuff in my hideout. I think I remember there being a craft. Oh, it might be a power max plus a PPSH mag can make a PM drum mag. I think that is what it is. So if I keep a power mag, I can make some PM drum mags occasionally, which can be kind of fun. I think that is what it is. Yeah. Okay, I'll keep a couple power maxes just for the PM PM occasions. Alright, I'll sell the rest of this shit. Probably eat this. Bring that with me. What do we got here? I make five, six, eight, one. That's quite nice. Five, six. A whole bunch of grenades. I think I'm gonna bring the SVD again. I'm gonna switch out my helmet though. Got a fuckload of guns. Away. Cool. All that shit. Take a while. I'll mute the game so you guys don't have to hear the fuck clicking. All right, so I just need to mark that last truck. I don't know where it could be. Don't want anybody to tell me. I'm thinking. I'm thinking main road or like town. I think main road, honestly. I think main road. 
So that's where I'm going to check first. Definitely not by the, uh, I mean, it could be inside the water treatment. It could be inside the water treatment. But I have way too many fucking triceps. Holy fucking shit. It doesn't end. I mean, I don't use anything lower than a tricep at this point. Tricep all the way. But I still have so fucking. Throw an extra weapon in there. Uh, I don't really want the attack to a downgrade to a tricep. Just because I'm not looting that much stuff. I really needed. We'll keep the assault rig. I'll grab a tan U lock instead of a black one and we'll be good to go. I think we have pretty much everything we need. Okay. Good. Can I repair those? Can. Got there. Sell that shit. For the SR25 for now. Those away. Grab a tan new lock and we're good to go. Some of my insurance. Let's do it. I only need to mark one more, right? The game was running a little bit shit. Let's restart it real quick. Restart it. It was running like really good in the first two raids, and then now it's running kind of shit. It's probably because I tabbed out. What's the plan for tomorrow? Tomorrow's Friday, right? I'm considering not spinning the wheel. Because there's only so much Tarkov left. I mean, it's only one day in reality. I was supposed to play Doom. What the fuck? I'm sorry. Okay, never mind. We'll spin the wheel. We'll spin the wheel. We're spinning the wheel. I feel, I feel terrible now. <laughs> I think you said that. I feel terrible. Um, yeah, we'll spin the wheel. There's only so much Tarkov left. I only have so much time. I want to complete all my quests. Edge. Um. But no, yeah, I shouldn't. Spin the wheel, but don't play. That's worse. That's a worse option. That is worse. That is a worse option. That is not a better option. You did not help the situation. <laughs> I would rather not spin. I mean, I am going to play all the games eventually, but it's just like, I don't know, like spinning and then hitting the game and then not playing it feels worse. I am going to hit level 60. That'd be kind of cool. That would be kind of cool. The more quests I do, it'll make it zoom along. 
No, I think I will spin the wheel, I guess. Um, I'll probably play the game. It depends what it is. It depends if I feel up to it. I don't know. The last, like, I don't know. April's been a fucking shitty month for me. Now it's fucking May. May is like a, a fucking rough month for me because of all the birthdays and stuff. A lot of stuff happens in May. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure how it's going to go. Because uh, I've already been dealing with some life stuff recently. I'm going to try and stream as much as I can. But no promises that it's going to be any better than April. I mean, I still streamed like a decent amount in April. Just not as much. I would have liked to stream more. There's a lot of days that I missed and stuff. April was a bit of a... April was like the worst month I've had since like December. January, February, and March, I streamed like a lot in all three of those months. I've just had a lot of stuff going on. Life stuff. Made it a little bit hard to stream. Not been entirely pleasant, that's for sure. It's okay though. He's okay. I've still enjoyed the streams. It's still been fun. Just sad that I don't get to stream as much. Don't want to let nobody down, you know what I mean? But I'm only one person. Try my best. Hmm. I love the Ulock helmet. Ulock and Gazelle is probably like my favorite favorite armor and like helmet look. I do really like the Osprey too though. I feel like the Osprey makes you look like really like you skipped leg day though. Cause it like beefs up your shoulders and your back and your chest and your neck. It just looks like you skipped leg day. <laughs> You're all fucking muscly but then your legs are like fucking pencils. Um, I like Gazelle, I think. I think Gazelle is probably like my favorite armor look. I think it looks really cool. That and a black U-lock. That's what I used to like back in the day. I don't feel like anything's really taken that place. I do really like the, the Ospreys, though. Other than the thin-ass legs that you get. Alright. Okay. Not the greatest spawn in the world. But uh, not the worst. I should be clear to my side. I might go this way. Actually, I might go... I guess I'll go into the town, because it could be in the town. Go to the town. Maybe go hillside too. I think I'll just go to the road after the town though. I think I'll just go from the town to hillside to convenience store and then check the road from there. Cause I don't- I hate going up into the chalet mountains here. It's like such a fucking linear killer corridor in there. Isn't pleasant. Lagging all over the 
place. Just loot stuff as we head to where we want to go. Loot stuff on the way. Hey Ty, what's up Wolfsy? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Good to see you as always. Well, you are doing good. I'm in Tarkov a lot, I see. No, I have been. I have been. I am definitely going to be playing some other stuff soon, though. In like a month? I think in a month. I'm going to be playing a lot of other stuff. For now, I've been enjoying Tarkov a lot. It's, I mean, it is my most played game. And there is a reason for it. I do like this game a lot. Better or worse? Yeah, this building is like, it's like worth checking, but like, not that great. In my opinion on it. I wouldn't buy the key for it. Eh, maybe I would. Eh, I probably wouldn't buy the key for it. Just to have it. When you walk by, but I wouldn't like, go to this building specifically. I'll, like, walk past it maybe. Or like, incorporate it into your route. This building. This house down here is pretty good though. Could be somebody inside. If there's a key for that.
Who this? I actually need that. These are worth taking. Use them to heal and save a lot of money, so it's basically effectively like value. Yeah. Nothing like amazing, but some decent stuff. It's been pretty quiet. I guess that is a sign of the player base being low, though. Matches having like inconsistent amounts of activity. Some matches are going to be empty. Some matches are going to have people. It's going to be a bit of a mixture. When the goons are on lighthouse, you're going to get more people. To be fair, so you can time that with your lighthouse raids if you want to have some more people in them. The scab's not even here, actually. It's funny. He's a dynamic container, too. <laughs> he didn't even spawn. Decided not to show up for work today. Alright. We want to look for the... The truck. How heavy am I? I'm pretty heavy. Printing might not be the play then. I hate walking out in the open. To be fair, I don't need to walk down here. Probably be good to get on the other side of the road. Maybe go Marin as well. At this point in the raid, there shouldn't be somebody camping it. Or looking at it. Maybe necessarily camping. Just keeping an eye on it, because it is pretty high value, and it's a very easy spot to kill people. Forty-two. What is that? Shrimp ammo. Yeah. That might have been the really good shrimp ammo. There's supposed to be one more shrimp ammo past BT, but I can't remember what it's called. It might have been it. To be fair, I'll never find those loose bullets now that I dropped them on the ground, though. <laughs> What 
wonder where they went. Want to get up on this hill? Not this one specifically. Well, actually, maybe. I can look down the road quite a bit from here. Maybe I will come up here. Might be able to see the fuel truck from up here. Maybe it's around the corner. That's all I can think. Cause I can't think of where else. Be. Up there. Okay. Go all the way around, loop back around. I can think of where it would be. Let me check the task real quick. Okay. It might be inside the water treatment plant. Might be inside the water treatment plant. Again, I don't want anybody to tell me. FYI. Um, yeah, I don't think it's up by the chalets. Remember there being a tinker truck up there. It could be around this corner, though, around the bend towards Southern Road. I feel like that's kind of likely. They're so funny. Just laughing over there. Having a grand old time, dude. Wonder if maybe it could be like in the. Uh, in the
That is a fuel truck, but it's got no fuel on the back. I don't think I've ever fucking heard of anybody using this extract. Scabs, man, they ain't to be fucking trusted. I don't want to sprint too much because I'm very loud. And at this point in the wave, there's definitely sometimes people camping out here to camp people coming from the lighthouse. If it's not over here, probably inside the uh, bird treatment plant. Might have to make an incursion. I think it probably is, so. I think we're just gonna extract here and run it back. Yeah, I don't see it. So that means it's either in the chalet, one of the chalets, or it's in the water treatment. I think water treatment. I think I do remember there being a fuel truck in there, so. We're gonna have to run it back and try and get inside. I think I shall. I think all my quests are water treatment now. Inside water treatment. I think I shall. Except the overpopulation quest. I can't remember exactly what it is. I maybe should have accepted it already if it's just like kill stuff. I can't remember. All right, somewhat successful. I mean, I did narrow it down where it's gonna be, but didn't actually make any progress, but it's all good. Got some loots. I think that hillside house is like, like I said, it's not that great. Marin's still pretty good though. Like it's not like amazing, but it's still pretty good. I mean, I found a, like, I think I found two Bitcoins, actually. I feel like I found two Bitcoin. What time did I start the stream today? I started at 3.30, right? So it's been about three and a half hours. The stream died because of Twitch earlier. Oh, they, uh, level 60, I get the little teeth portrait, which is kind of fun. Kind of fun. The big mouth and teeth.
I should have probably accepted the overpopulation quest already. I think it is just kill stuff. Let's see. Mercenary, there is work for you. According to our intelligence, after the initial conflict, the former base of our USEC comrades in the cottage area at Cape Downley was abandoned with a lot of valuable equipment and information that could sponsor the Blue Helmet's operation. The only problem is that the entire territory is currently under the control of the scavs. And I would like to get rid of them, or at least scare them out of this zone fast so that my people can extract all the necessary resources without combat. This is your task, my friend. Naturally, everything that you have just heard will remain strictly between us. I look forward to your report. Oh, it's the cottage area specifically. Gotcha. Well, that's not that important that I accepted that then. Um, I think we're going to go inside the water treatment. If I get onto one of the hills, I can at least peek in before I have to go in and see if I do actually need to go in there. If I don't need to go in, then fine, right? But I need to check. Ah, this is full. I hate when that gets full. It's got all this fucking ibuprofen. I need these though for um for the Ledex crafts. But to be fair, I mean. Pretty far away from that. I can always get more. I'm just gonna get rid of that stuff. I'll just bring a whole bunch of them to use in one raid. Kind of fun. TT. Boost malfunction chance. <laughs> Literally worse than just buying a whole new TT, but that's fine. <laughs> Part of it is that I like to make people confused when they kill me, and then they look in my pockets and they're like, whoa, what the fuck? Why is his weapon gold? <laughs> But there's really no point to it. I mean, it makes me feel cool. That's always a plus, right? I wish they did more. I wish that it was just like a permanent upgrade that you gave a weapon. Like it doesn't even have to be anything crazy. Just like, just like it has, you know what I mean? Like reduced malfunction chance or, um, reduced malfunction chance or like reduced weapon spread, faster reload. That could be cool. It's just like little, little buffs. But like permanent. The fact that they go away makes them kind of bad. Alright, we're probably just gonna go straight for the water treatment.
wonder if I bring a care package. That'd be a good idea. Bring a care package and set it off in the cottages. <laughs> I wonder which cottages it actually counts. I assume it's just the one that has scabs. Not the other one. I could bring a care package and set it off though and try and bait some player scabs in. <laughs> yeah, some people are talking about this. Cheaters can actually go into the PvE mode and kill you while you're playing PvE. Apparently. Kind of funny. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's funny, but also like insanity. Like, how can they, how can they get into the PVE servers? It's insane. Or a safe guy. It's it's kind of insanity. My emotes work now? My 7 TV wasn't working before. Oh, I think sometimes it um it doesn't register the emotes I've added to the chat. That's the bug. It registers the global emotes, but not the ones I've added. Let's see. It's just me personally. It's just an issue for me. You guys are fine. You'll be able to see them. It's my 7 TV. Fucked up. Okay. Let's make our way into the water treatment, shall we? I have a plan. My plan is I'm going to go like I did before. 
See, this raid has people. It's weird. Every, like, other raid has people right now. Oh, fuck. Somebody already opened Marin. It might have been that guy who got grenade launchered. Or there could be somebody else here. Tip, by the way, if you have a scope on your gun, actually, just in general, you should always aim down sights once at the start of every raid. Because usually, at least for my computer, there's always one big stutter the first time I scope in every raid. So, you don't want that to be during combat. Usually good to get that big stutter out of the way. I don't really care about that guy who died the grenade launcher. You could add some good stuff, but... I don't want to give up my uh, position to get across the bridge since we're on a task. I should be able to get across the bridge safely and get into my safe area. My plan is to get up on that rock near the train station since I'm pretty safe right now because the guards won't shoot at me. Pretty sure there's no other gas tank around here, right? Double check, yeah. I can check down this road just to double, double check. Uh, we're fine. Um, so I'm gonna go to that rock that's near the train station. Get up there and then take a peek in and just see where it is. Because then I can formulate a plan before I'm tagged as hostile to the rogues. Because for right now, I can move around quite freely. I'm not really in much danger, but as soon as I get tagged, then I'm not going to be able to move around very much. So before I get tagged, I want to get as close as possible to where I need to go. The entry point. Fuck. Got like a sharp pain in one of my ribs. I just got stabbed. <laughs> Who's got the fucking voodoo doll? Stop it. Stop it, that hurt. Fuck, maybe I shouldn't have told them it hurt. Now they know their voodoo doll works. <laughs> Fuck, that hurt really bad. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> Where's he gonna tell me I need to drink more water? <laughs> all my life, that's all fucking people say. Whenever anything goes wrong, there's like, oh, you should drink some water. Drink some water. Have you thought about drinking water? Fucking water. Our Lord and Savior. Fucking water. <laughs> Listen, okay, water does not fix as many problems as people think it does. Water will save you, it won't. Hmm. 
Alright. We'll get up on here and we'll look around. I don't know if anything spawns in those trunks. I think it's just food and shit. Not down that road. Um. Okay. There it is. Right there. Okay. Off we go. Kind of deep. What's the play here? That guy in that grenade launcher is going to be a problem. This guy on this gun is also going to be a problem. I could take both of these fuckers out from here real, real easy like. What about that roof there, though? One there, I can take him out too. Should I start taking him out now? Fuck, I, I don't think so, I'm in a crossfire here. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What if I take this guy out? Then I take that guy out. Well, that's a long shot, though. This guy will ice me quick, man. Do I need to kill them? How far deep is that BP fuel thing? There's one just chilling. It's just on the other side of that building. I mean... There's nobody on this side with a gun. Just that guy there. What if I take that guy out and then I kill the guy down below? Is there any more? Then I can run inside the building? I kinda like that idea. He can't swivel the gun far enough. Maybe take this fucker out and then try and kill the guy up there. Okay. We're tagged now. We can loot this building. What is that toolbox? Oh, they saw a toolbox over here. Did I not? Oh, it's over there. <laughs> Started thinking about something else and got distracted. Um, it might be a lot farther out. That's what I was thinking about. It might be a lot farther out because I don't see it right here, right? up on the roof. I'm 
coming downstairs. He's toast. Whoa, magic gun. Reloading with my mind. The problem is, is that we're tagged, which means that if I die, it's going to be a lot harder to get in here next time. Bro, how the fuck did that guy know I was in here? I mean, may oh, maybe it was a raider? Oh, I don't feel like a raider, though. I felt like a guy with fucking superhuman senses. Right them inside here is like they're fucking bread and butter. Like this is the reason why these fucking areas are fucking dangerous. It's just so hard to see them and they just spot you instantly. All it takes is like one second where you're not you don't see them and you're dead. You're up. I think it's just raiders though. That was like a fucking superhuman PMC, but. Thousand dollars. Not gonna lie. Don't really have a good plan. Um I feel like the thing is quite far away. <laughs> I just need to plant the marker though and then survive. I don't want it to be that crazy clear.
Problem is this building. I'm going. Plant. We're good. Nice. Another quest finished. 96. Okay, I'd like to get out of here now. I'm not stressing the loot. Although, other building would be pretty open at this point, but there was a lot of shots and shit over there. I thought I killed the guy back here. But I didn't. I thought I killed him, but I guess I hit him in the arm. Okay, so it was the same one. I thought I killed him and there was multiple, but it was the same one that I shot. Yeah, I did hit him, but... Man, my grenades got all the way over here somehow. What the... F what the fuck? How is that even possible? I hit him, but I didn't kill him. And he closed the door. Could have been a PMC. No. I'm dehydrated, so now I need water in game. Maybe I just loot this place and leave. At the shoreline. That's not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. I'll go to the front gate. I wonder if the front gate sells rogues at it. Did I skipped the front gate before. Might be able to see him from here. Somebody kill the gate. Front row gates. Front row gate gates. No. The front gate rogues. That sounds like a fucking band name. Up to the roof of this building. I mean, there will be some loot up there. Just a, just a bit. Not much. Song. Don't, don't get me copyrighted. Come on. Get me. Don't get me copyrighted. Your singing is gonna get me in trouble. I'm 
the shots over there. They're having a big fight at the other, at the front gate. There'll be a little bit of loot on my roof. I wish that dirty glass wasn't there. Just player scab. Be fun to take some of them out though. Place of safety. Not important though. All right, let's uh, let's go up into the roof. I'm like very low on energy and water though. Shit. I think it's fine for me to go up on the roof though. I killed all the roof uh roof rogues. Train's here. I could go for the train. I've not been up here really, like ever. <laughs> A game, please. Where are the gunners? Are there are no gunners on this building. Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, I guess there's no gunners on this building. How have I never noticed that? How have I never noticed that? Unless they're not always there, unless it's a random spawn. I gotta get the fuck out of here. I do have stuff for energy, I just have nothing for water. I can eat these sprats. And then I can pop this augment in. And then we get the fuck out of here, I think. We got our quest done. I really have never noticed that there's no gunners up here, unless it's random. Go with that guy. Does he have anything good? Not really. Just get out of here. Oh, I do have a key for a building over here. Let's go check that out, actually. I don't know which building it is, but I have a key for a building.
Can't really be that much good stuff in here though, right? It's like a fucking tiny ass room. Yeah. <laughs> Not the greatest little room I've ever seen. Okay, I guess. Some bobs here. Nothing too crazy. Alright, let's get the fuck out. Filing cabinets in. BS ammo. Like you can only be one of the filing cabinets. This rock is still all snowy for some reason. Middle of spring. I'm done. Down to 97 quests. We'll do overpopulation now because I accepted it. So I might bring a flare. First, first run I'll probably won't. I'm gonna bring some kind of. I might bring this MCX actually. Job done. Nice. 97 quests left. That quest actually unlocks some decent stuff. I think I'm yawning so much because I'm thirsty. I need to maybe take a break. Drink. How long has it been? Four hours?
I don't know how long today's. Well, I said today's stream is going to be eight, eight hours. I'm not going to get tired, but. Give into big water. No, I'm going to have some fucking chocolate milk. Fuck your water. Kill five rogues. Three teeth. What a name. Three teeth. And zero, zero. <laughs> Um, turn that in. This lets me buy tier 5 front plates. For, like, 6B13s and Zook Press Vests. Zook uh, Press Vests just became, like, really good armor for me because I can, I can buy tier 5 front plates for them. Which, I mean, there's no other tier 5 front plates that I can buy other than Corund. But, I mean, I guess a Corund is basically as good... Actually, it's yeah, it's basically as good as a um press vest, but press vest is obviously a lot cheaper. Save you a lot of money there, but um, they're basically the same thing. All right, let's turn that in. A plus. Great mercenary, this information opened up many possibilities for me. I'll gather people to collect the fuel. Thank you very much, friend. How the fuck is he gonna collect it from inside the thing? Maybe I'll just pay him off. There's 97 quests left. No, 96. 96 quests. God. 96 quests left. Because I started at 98 today, right? Yeah. And then I finished the drug lab and the energy crisis. I have 8 quests left with mechanic. Eight quests left with mechanic. Mechanic, skier, or no, mechanic, therapist, and prapper are all down like single digits. Ragman and Jaeger still have fucking over 20, but they make up literally half of the quest, just those two. Alright. What do I want to do now? We're gonna do overpopulation. I think I'm gonna bring this MCX, to be honest. Do a little bit of modifications here. Take some of these things. A pretty well modded uh, MCX actually. Needs a little bit of bits and pieces, but overall it's actually pretty decent. Overall, it's actually pretty decent. Um, I think I'm just gonna keep the Osprey rig in the uh, annual lock. I think that's fine. I might take a care package. We might use it to try and bait some motherfuckers in. I think that'd be kind of funny. That would be kind of humorous. Um, do I still have another Acia? I have two for my sword. Yeah, I do have another Acia, so I should collect broken LCDs still. I want to keep... magazine does this have the the better barrel i think this is fine this is probably like a fine setup the only thing it isn't fine is this buffer tube um and this locking hinge assembly this thing's trash and this buffer tube's not very good so i'll upgrade those two 
things and we'll be good to go. Because this one only gives... Well, it, it's not that... um, This one is cheaper, first of all, but it has lots of options. Whereas this one only has this tube and this tube isn't that great. Um, it might not be worth upgrading if I already have. Actually, I think it is upgrade worth upgrading because the ARE is really just that good. Gives 2% and 2 ergonomics. So, it's a little bit expensive, but it definitely gives some good benefits. So, I think it's worth it. Um, how good is the ergo on this thing? 49? That's not really good for what you call it, sadly. Surrounders. I'm just going to go... 30 rounders. Honestly, I can't be bothered dropping the or if I can go into my backpack stack, so I'm gonna sure and drop it in right. thousand bucks and I'm making some money oh I do want to bring the red flare I should really like sort my stash so that way I can find stuff but like man that would that'd be a lot of sorting dude <laughs> I don't think it ha I have it in me to do that much sorting <laughs> I have like a ton of red flares there we go <laughs> just don't know where they are Ooh, this has an OMRG how good is that Nine ergo. Good enough. Good enough. All right, I do need to get something to drink. I am very thirsty, actually. I should have gotten something before the stream, but I forgot. Um. Man, my stash value has gone up by like fucking three mil today. What the fuck? What's it going up so much? What have I been doing? I'm making bank, apparently. Damn. How have I made that much money? I don't really understand. Oh. Alright, I'm going to take a quick, quick break. I'm going to take, like... 10 minutes at the most. Let's go get something to drink. Make sure my cats are all good. I'll be right back. Not too long. Ooh, I've almost got a little three mastery with the MCX. Can't put this on the bottom. Oh yeah, I'm gonna take a quick, quick break because I'm really thirsty. I need to grab 
and um, I will be right back. Very quick. I'll restart the game at the same time. I shall be back. Message in the There's uh, some Star Wars Battlefront 2 stuff. Are you talking about the fucking orbital strike? Um, Strat and Battlefront 2. My fucking dude, that Strat was pretty legit. I remember there was some ha help from chat, 100%, but I did come up with that Strat. I mean, like, I can put my name on that Strat. Along with my Twitch chat. That's a pretty fucking good Strat, though. That's definitely probably my proudest, proudest fucking Strat that I came up with in that game. Because that one's pretty fucking cool, actually. It's actually a lot of, like, a lot of like little bits and pieces. I do miss speedrunning. I want to speedrun some more. I'm only gonna speedrun Battlefront Two. Uh, I will. I will. Since I'm talking about it right now, I will remind everybody because uh, I did say it the other day. But if you weren't there at the start of the stream, you wouldn't have heard me say it. But if you are interested in the Star Wars Battlefront 2 speedrunning, there will be a um, aim tech, another runner, another top runner, um, is going to be showing it off on a the May the 4th GDQ stream. So, if it interests you, go and check it out. I'm probably going to tune in here and there when I get, if I'm awake. <laughs> I don't know what time it is. Um, I probably should know that. Cause it isn't like two days but all good <laughs> i mean i guess i could look now uh, i didn't even know it was happening until the other day um but that's kind of my own fault uh what was i gonna do oh nothing i was gonna check bdq GDQ? They have a website, right? Yeah. I don't know. I I don't I I listen. <laughs> I'm helpless. <laughs> I do not know how to find this fucking schedule. I don't know where I found it before. I don't know where I went to find it before. I found it at some point. 
But I don't remember where. <laughs> where did I go to find it? Um. Uh. Maybe their Twitter? Oh, I think it was their Twitter. Um, let's see. Is it their Twitter? I just want to know when it's fucking going on so I can tune in. It's kind of hard to fucking... Um. How am I so useless? Or is it just that it's not easy to find this information? <laughs> I feel like maybe they could provide better ways to find this information. Where the fuck did I find it before? <laughs> I literally, I looked at a page and it said, it said. How do I, how can I not find it? Maybe it's on their Twitch? No? Am I dumb? I don't know. Listen, it's on the 4th. I don't know when. I don't know where. Well, I do know where. It's on their channel. Why can I not find it? I literally found it before. Am I dumb? I don't know. I found it before and I found the schedule of all the games that were going to be played. But I don't know where I went to find this information. Where did I go to find it? Am I dumb? It's not on their website, it's not on their Twitter, it's not on their Twitch. Maybe I saw the end of a stream, maybe that's what it was. Maybe I saw the end of a stream and then there was a... Oh, they do put the schedule... Okay, okay, there is a schedule at the end of stream, on the stream and stuff. Maybe I just saw it on the stream. They do stream like pretty much all day. Maybe that's what it was. No, it wasn't though. I remember seeing the fucking I like was on a website and I saw it. I don't know. It's on the fourth. If you tune in during the fourth, you'll be able to find out what time pretty easily. It pisses me off that I can't find the same page that I found before. Not on their Twitter? Well, there's no mention of it on their Twitter. I'm, I'm I'm baffled. Maybe the website's been changed since then. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe.
That might be what it is. That might be what it is. I give up. Uh, that's fine. I am going to be right back. <laughs> I'm going to be right back. I'm going to get something to drink because I'm really thirsty. And uh, I will be back. Not too long, like five to ten minutes at the most. And I'll be right back. And then we'll go in and pop this red flare, try and bait some players' calves in, and try and kill as many as we can for our, uh, for our quest. Um, and just kill some normal scavs. Hopefully there will be some normal scavs up there as well. Yeah, I will not be too long, like five to ten minutes. Sorry, I usually grab a drink, but I forgot this time. I'll be right back. 